？啥？多久？两小时啊！你可以戴耳机学呀。我在我躺床上睡觉了。<笑>已经准备录节目。Hi everyone. I saw a few students already in the this session, and let's wait for three more minutes. And if you are in this room, you can go to a、uh, Moodle to download these two files. This is what we're going to use for today's tutorial. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to、uh, Wednesday, eleven、uh, Mark、uh, Martin two o five two tutorial section. I'm your tutor. My name is Amy.、Uh, First tutorial, and、um, uh, this is my contact, my email address. If you have any question about the tutorial, welcome to email me. I will try to email you as soon as possible. You might receive my response within one or two business day. And if the question probably uh is difficult to discuss or answer through the email. I'm very happy to、uh, you make an appointment, like、uh, have a consultation, and my consultation time is Wednesday, four p.m. to five p.m.、Uh, how we、uh, conduct the consultation? We're going to use、uh, Microsoft Team, and you email me first, and I will send you the invitation. Okay, this is my email address. Please remember this one. If you have any question, welcome to email me. Or if you forgot my email, you can find my email from the Moodle as well. Okay. And then 
Here is a few frequently asked questions. The first one, uh, probably uh, some student might say, oh, I emailed you already, but I haven't got your reply. Why? Uh, I actually, I will check my email quite frequently. As what I just mentioned, I will reply to you the email one or two business day. And probably your question is relevant uh, about the course online. If the question is relevant to the course online, we probably not reply the email. Okay, so try to check the course online or the message what Rahu, the lecturer in charge, sent you uh, by from the Moodle, the announcement. Okay. And uh, some students may ask, because I will make the slide to uh, for the uh, for the tutorial, some students may ask, uh, "Can we get the slide from you?" Uh, sorry, because the each tutorial, each tutor, uh, we use we teach the same content, but we probably will use different approach. So different tutor will have different slide. So I'm sorry, I cannot uh, send you the slide, but. If you found the slide is quite useful, I'm very happy you uh, have a screenshot to save the slide, what you like, okay? And the third question, because you're going, you, you will have the group project uh, for this course, and some students might drop out of the course in the middle of the term and they may ask oh do we got the extension of the deadline or do we have the extra member oh sorry we you will given the same deadline and the same workload and the fourth question Probably you may ask, uh, I haven't got your invitation for the following week. Could you send me the invitation? Uh, actually, I already sent uh, a series of invitation for this whole term. So uh, you may, uh, you can find the rest, the following invitation from your uh, uh, calendar in UNSW email or from the calendar in Microsoft Team. Where is it? How to find it? You can go to your USW email and find your calendar. You will find a series of the invitation here. Okay, because here uh, is the session 11, uh, Wednesday 11 session. So you just double click this event and you will see the link to join the meeting. And how to find the link from, you, you also can find the link from uh, Microsoft team. How to find it? This is the Microsoft team. And here is the calendar. And when you click the calendar, you will see the weekly calendar here. And then you can uh, go forward or backward to find the uh, tutorial section. What you're going to join okay here already create a link for you you just double click and you will see the link as well there are two ways to find the following uh, tutorial section and i think probably most of you already familiar with microsoft team but some of you might not don't worry about that. Let me uh, briefly introduce the Microsoft team, the function you probably will use uh, quite often. Okay, the first one is this one, mute and unmute your microphone. Uh, during the tutorial session, during the tutorial, please remember to mute your microphone. But if you have question, 
Well, I will call you to dis, uh, interrupt me. How to how to raise your question? You can raise your hand by click this icon, or you can type the message. When you click this icon, you will see here is a meeting chat. You can type your question here, or you can unmute your microphone and. If you want to say something is urgent, your your question, you have some clarified question, welcome to unmute your microphone. Okay. So far, any question? Or if you want to uh, turn on your camera, I'm happy with that as well. Here is the turn on your camera. Okay. Okay, so far any question about the tutorial? Okay, if not, I will, uh, let's go to the, what we're going to do for the whole term. Uh, this term, the tutorial, we have seven weeks tutorial. And what we're going to do for the seven weeks tutorial? In the lecture, Rahu will teach multiple analysis. For example, descriptive statistics, how to calculate mean, median, mode, or what is how to do frequency analysis, how to calculate standard deviation, and he will introduce what is difference analysis, for example, t-test or ANOVA, and associative analysis, correlation cross-tab with chi-square test, and predictive analysis, that is regression. He will cover these analysis. And what I'm going to do in the tutorial we will do some analysis. We will do some exercise of these analysis together. And Rahu already designed some exercise in the tutorial document. You can you can download from the Moodle, or you have downloaded already. Or I probably will design a few extra exercises to help you get more familiar with these analysis. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Rahul in the lecture, he will cover all these analysis, but he probably uh, will uh, explain what is the concept of this analysis, why we do this analysis, and what is the background of this analysis. And for the tutorial, we will do a exercise we will do some exercise for this analysis and each week I will cover different topic for example next week I probably will cover descriptive statistics and chi-square test and the following week I may cover t-test and next week uh, the following week will ANOVA okay so that is what we're going to do in the tutorial. And again, where is the exercise document? It's here, this one. You can download from the Moodle. If you haven't downloaded the document yet, you can download it now. Here is the path to download the document. And when we need to do some exercise, need to do the analysis. We need a data set, right? And here is the data set. Here is the path for you to download the data set. And for we to do the analysis, actually there are several tools to uh, we can do the analysis. We can use Excel 
or you can uh, use the programming, you can use R or Python. You can write the code to do the analysis. But for this course, we're going to use SPSS. But you don't need to download SPSS. We will use a platform, the name is called MyAssess. We're going to use this platform to do the analysis in SPSS. And when you download this data file, the data file name is car. The data set is about a uh, car industry data. It's a real data set. And the data file type is uh, SAV. This is the type of the data file in SPSS. Okay? And once you download these two files, please remember where you save these two files. And after you download this data file, do not open it directly. Because probably your computer didn't have SPSS, so you cannot open it. I will to, uh, we will uh, do that together, how to open the SPSS file later. Okay, is everyone have downloaded these two files? If you haven't, if you need more time, could you please raise your hand? Let me know. Okay, since everyone downloaded these two files already, okay, now. This is today's agenda. We have four tasks. The first one, I'm going to introduce my assess. How are we going to use my assess to analyze, to do the analysis in SPSS? This is the first task. The second one, we're going to know how to import the data set in SPSS. Before you do the analysis, you need to import the data, right? So we, the second task, we will learn how to import the data in SPSS. And the third task, we need to overview the data set. Before we analyze the data, we need to import the data. After we import the data, we need to know what is this data set look like. For example, what variable I have and how many variable I have in this data set and what is the scale of each the variable is this variable a nominal variable or this variable is ordinal variable or this variable is scale variable okay so I need to overview the data then the final task, I will do some, we will do some uh, simple describe statistic together. This part, the final task, uh, uh, I will trick this part, this task as uh, a warm up to help you to uh, get familiar with how to use SPSS to do the analysis. So we will do some simple statistic here as a warm up to help you to familiar with SPSS. Okay. So let's do the first two tasks first. Okay. Could you please uh, open your uh, brow uh, Google? Or what you what you what you from, uh, normally use to search my as uh, my assess UNSW. and then you will see this one this website. Click here. Click my assess triple A UNSW. See this one. You will see. This a uh, web page. After you see this web page, could you please 
uh, download the Citrix receiver, this one, install this one, download this one, and install this one. Citrix receiver. Once you click that one, you will see this one, uh, this in, uh, web page to ask you to log in your uh, ZID and your password. And after you uh, fill in these two information, please click uh, uh, I accept the term and condition this one and click log on. After that, you probably will see this information, click OK. After you click OK, then download Citrix uh, receiver and install that. It probably will take uh, some time, so I will stop here for uh, wait for you uh, one or two minutes. And if you have question, you can uh, unmute your microphone. And ask me if you have any question. This step is quite important. You probably will use the SPSS to do some analysis for your practicum. So uh, try to do it now and see if you have any question and see I can help. If you already installed the Citrix receiver, could you please raise your hand? Let me know. One, two, three, four. Good, good, good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, still have a few students. Still have a few seconds. Let's wait for one more minute. And if you already installed that, oh, thank you for your response. Thank you for all, all the students. Uh, let me know you have installed the uh, Citrix receiver. Let's wait for one more minute to wait for a few students. And if you already installed that, you will see. You can go to this website. You will see this web page. Click IBM SPSS statistic. There are multiple icon here. IBM SPSS uh, modeler, IBM SPSS smart reader. But please select this one. IBM SPSS statistic. After you click this one, you will see this page. You will see the, the SPSS software here. If you see, uh, if, the, if your computer show the software, this one, and you see the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the menu here, stop here, I will come back later. Again, once you finish install Citrix receiver, go to this website. You will see the web page, this one. Select IBM SPSS statistic.
if you uh, finish install a uh, Citrix receiver and you click this icon IBM SPSS statistic and you see this menu already. Could you please raise your hand again? Okay, how to go to the web page? Once you install the Citrix receiver, go to this page. You will see this, you can go to this page, assess your application, click this one. And you will see this uh, information, click OK. Then you will see here have a lot of multiple, uh, they have a lot of application here. And select IBM SPSS, statistic, this one. Again, if you see this uh, menu, SPSS menu here, if you see the menu here, uh, could you please raise your hand? Let me know. And I can go the further step. Okay. How about rest of students? If you have questions, you can mute, unmute your microphone and see whether I can help. Because this is an online uh, course, so about a technical issue, uh, probably you have some technical issue. I will, this today's session, I will uh, run it slowly to make sure uh, most of you, I, I try my best to uh, make, uh, try make everyone uh, to solve everyone's uh, technical issue during the tutorial. So I will go through it slowly. Okay, if you have questions or, or we can discuss later. Okay, so if you see this menu here, uh, they probably have uh, a little bit different if you use Mac computer or you use Windows computer. That may uh, introduce you how to import the data if you are Windows user. And if you are Mac computer user, please hang on a second. I will come back later, okay? So if you are Windows user, please click open other, another file, and then click open here. After that, please select where is the folder you save the data file. Again, the data file name is cars.sav. Click here, here have a, a triangle sign here. Click this one and select where you save the data file.
After that, I found the data file here, cars.sav. Click this one, and you will see the data file, uh, the file name here. The data file will show on here. And then click open. After you click open, the data file should be able to import in the SPS. Okay. Now, if you are Mac user, you will see the same menu here. Do the same step. Could you please click open another file and then click open. After that, click your C drive, your local disk, C drive. Excuse me. Yes. Um, when I click open, it comes up yeah. with a warning saying, how do you want to access files from this application? No access, read only, and read and write. Which one should we do? Uh, can you say that again? What is a, uh, what is a lap, uh, last option? Read and write. Read and write. Uh, how about the first one? That was no access. Oh, read and write. Click read okay. and write. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The Mac user, after you select the your C drive, click this one. Within C drive, you will see user, this folder. Click user. After you click user, you will see the username. It should be your your how you name your computer. Okay? So in my computer the username is Amy Chen. So I click Amy Chen this one, this folder. After that, under Amy Chen this folder, under the username this folder, I select download. After you click download, you will see the data file here. And then click cost.sav, this data file. Then in the file name here, you will see the data file show here. And then click open. Any question for import data? Okay, if you are a Windows user, I'll show you again how to do it. This is uh, this is the uh, I now I use the Windows computer, so I'll show you again if you are Windows user, and if you are Mac user, if you have issue to import the data, let me know later after I demo uh, demonstrate this one. Okay, I click open another file, click open. And then I click here to browse where I save the data set. 
I save the data set in my remove uh, my removable disk D D drive. Okay, I save the data file in uh, under uh, Martin two o five two turn two two thousand twenty this folder. I see the data file here. I click the data file and the the data file will show here. Data file name here, this one. I remove it, I click it again. When I click it, the data file will show here. After that, I click open. Here is the data file. I import the data file here. Okay. And could you please let me know uh, again if you see your data if you see the data file here in the SPSS. If you successfully import the data file, could you please raise your hand again to let me know? Okay, good job. Excellent. Seventeen student. Okay, some student. I have trouble from my file. Okay, I save in my PC. Okay, Lauren, may I know which, uh, what is the operating system you use? Um, is the, I'm on a, sorry. the again? Windows. Windows, okay, uh, Windows. I show you again. I show you how to import the data again. So, <laughs> to save it, I found the file, but I'm saving my PC. Right? Okay. So I saved it in the documents on my PC, but when I click on PC and documents, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. I will be on Aspen. I don't know what that's in for. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me. Uh. Let me see. Uh. I. Uh. Do you I remember where where where? where where you save the file? I'm um, just on my PC on the like the PC section in the documents. Document? Uh, could you mm. please try again? Make sure you found the correct uh, uh hard drive. Uh, should I move it somewhere else? Or how about yeah. you move that that to the your desktop? Oh, okay. Try to move to your desktop and try to open the, try to import the data again and let me know uh, whether you have the same issue or not. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You, 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 your team do not have, okay, 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 I, I understand you, sorry, thank you, so at least you let me know, thank you, I, okay, so I think uh, like the probably 70, 80% student, you have import the data already, once you import the data already, that's do the third task. If you haven't imported the data already, don't worry about this part. Uh, don't, don't worry, I will explain that uh, again later. Okay? Let me quickly in, uh, talk about the data. This is the third task we're going to do. What is the third task? We're going to overview the data set. I want to know how many variables are included in this data set and what are these variables? 
and what is the scale of each the variable. Okay, let's do it together. That found it. How many variable I have? How do I know? Where is the variable? When you click, uh, there are two main uh, icon here. One is data view. Data view here, they, it, with, when you click this icon, you will see the whole data set. And the variable view, this icon will show you the variables information. Let's click variable view. When I click variable view, I can scroll down. I will see here. 59. What is 59 means? In here, in total, I have 59 variable. And what is the variable is? The first column, name. This one is variable name. The first variable name is ID. It's the respondent ID. What is the, what is the variable means? ID. What is this means? This is variable name. And what is this variable means? We can see label here. This is respondent ID. Okay. How about the second variable, car? Remember, this is the real data set for cars industry. So in here, we will see some information about the customer, their certification about the car, the, the car speed, or uh, is this uh, comfortable or safety, something else, right? So the second variable name is car. And what is this variable means? This is type of luxury car. And how many type of variable, how many, oh sorry, how many type of label for the luxury car? How do I know? I can click the value here, the value here, you will see triple dot here, click this icon, you will see how many label of the type of car. The first one, American car, second, European car. Third one, Japanese car. Okay. How about the third variable? Issue one. The variable name is issue one. And what is issue one? What does this variable mean? Again, I'm going to check label here. I double click here or uh, I adjust the space. I'll adjust the space here. I will see the question. What is the question for variable three? Having a car is a major part of my fun and excitement. This is the question for the variable three. How I measure this question? Again, I click value, I go to here, I click this one, I will see triple dot here. I click this one, and then I can find this variable is measured by a scale. And the scale you can read from 1 to 7. What does 1 mean? Strongly disagree. And seven means strongly agree. Okay, now I would like to give you uh, one minute to that you to overview this data set. And then let me go back to uh, answer some question for the student. Lauren, do you, uh, can you import the data already? Yeah, it's all good now, thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, 
So about the overview data part, the first one, I introduce how many variable I have. Again, how I found how many variable I have. How can I find that? I scroll down here. The first column is the variable name. When I scroll down, I can see how many variable I have. So in this data set, I have 59 variable. Okay, the second one, what is the variable I have? The first variable is ID here. And what is ID? I can go to label here to find what is ID means. In here, ID means respondents ID. Okay, and how about the second variable, car? This is the variable name. Again, car, this one is variable name. How do I know this variable's meaning? I can go to label again. This is type of luxury car. And how this variable is measured? How this variable is measured? I can go to value, click, the icon, the triple dot here, the icon, click this one, and then I can see how this variable is measured. Okay? Now I answer two questions already. How many variable I have in this data set? And what is this variable means? And the third question, I'm going to answer what is the scale of each variable and how what is the scale is this variable is nominal variable or is this variable is ordinal variable or is this variable is scale variable how did i found it you can find from here the column measure here the first one, member ID, is nominal variable. The second one, car, is nominal variable. But uh, sometimes when we import the data here, the measure, the type of the scale, uh, Rahul probably already helped you to uh, select the correct one but uh, when you uh, analyze the data for example you found a job you do uh, have a position is data analysis you found this kind uh, you have this kind of position and you're going to analyze the data what when you import the data the measure here could be wrong so you need to know what is the correct scale for each variable okay because sometimes here the measure once you import the data the measure here could be wrong for example id or oh, let's say the second variable car second variable car what is the scale of this variable it should be nominal variable but it could be happen once you import the data, call this variable. In here, the measure show scale. It's wrong, right? So you need to know what is the correct measure, okay? So in here, car is what kind or what type of a scale? is nominal right how about uh, this one although you already have the answer here scale but think about that why this variable is scale variable why any answer
um, because there's an order to the data or to Sorry? the values. Because there's an order to the values. Yes. Uh, yes, that is uh, this variable have order. And the, the, the respondent, they order the value. Yes, correct. Okay. So, uh, let me have a look. Okay, so now we already know the the what the variable type we have and how many variable we have and what is the variable include in this data set, right? So that's quickly overview this part. Okay? The type of variable, how many type of variable we learned from the lecture? Three type of variable, nominal, ordinal, and scale variable, right? What is nominal variable? For example, gender, male, and female, or the example what we just found from the data set, type of car, is the car, is the Japanese car, or European car, or American car, nominal variable. This kind of variable without order, okay? And what is ordinal variable? For example, age. The age is under 18 or between 18 to 29 or greater than 29 or the education level. Right? Junior high school, senior high school, college, master, PhD. And what is scale variable? It's what we just saw, issue one. Or this example. How satisfied are you with, for example, the loyalty program? Very unsatisfied. Very unsatisfied, this one. Unsatisfied. Neither satisfied, very satisfied. It's a label and with order. Okay? And after we know the type of variable, I'm going to uh, do the simple describe statistic. And what is the simple describe statistic we're going to calculate? We're going to calculate mean, median, and mode. These three value is central density. And what is mean? It's very straightforward. It's average. What is median? Median is a, is a set of the data. We have a set of uh, a, 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 a data and we have a set of value. We're going to find the middle number within the value. But before we find the middle number of the value, we need to sort the value first. How are we going to sort the value? We can do ascending order or descending order. After we do, we sort the value by ascending order or descending order, and we can find the middle number. And what is mode? Mode is a set of value we're going to find which value with the highest frequency okay remember these three is the these three indicate mean median mode is central density 
let's do a simple exercise. I have a set of value here. Now I would like to give you one minute to calculate what is the mean, what is median, what is mode. Okay? Okay, what is the mean value? How to calculate mean? In here, I sum all the value together and then I divide by 11. Why is 11? Because this set of value, how many value I have within here, this variable, uh, this, 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 uh, this variable. For example, this is a variable. I have 11 value include here. So I divide by 11. Then I get the value 5.09. Really simple, right? How about median? Remember, before I calculate median this value, I need to sort this set of value, right? I need to sort them first. How can I sort? How do how how do I do? I can do ascending order or I can do descending order. Either you do ascending order or descending order, you should have the same answer. Okay, let's see the first one. I do ascending order. And what is the middle number here? Remember, in total, I have 11 value here, right? So what is the middle number? Should be number 6, right? So what is number 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this is median. How about ascending order? Again, I found the middle number is, I need to find the, num, uh, the middle number is six, right? So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. So in here, again, six here is the median. Okay? Then what is mode? Remember what is mode? Within this value, which value has the highest frequency? So which one have the highest frequency? Is number A, right? Number A in this set of variable is appear three times. Okay, now we know how to calculate the uh, central tendency, 
how to calculate mean, median, and mode. I have a question. Do you remember the type of the variable? We have three type of variable, nominal, ordinal, and scale. And I have a question. What is the appropriate measure of central tendency for each type of variable? Could you think about it? Uh, let's have a break, three minutes. Think about it. And during the break time, if you have any issue about the import data or uh, you cannot find SPSS, we can discuss now. Any question about import data? Does anyone have answer for this question? What is the appropriate measure of central tendency for nominal variable? Does anyone have answer for this one? Mode. Okay, anyone else? To think, thank you for your answer. Anyone else? Do you have the do you have the same answer or different answer? Same. Okay, perfect. Yes, for this question, the answer is mode. Why? Because, let's say, if you want to calculate the median for nominal variable, that takes 
this one for example. Female and male. Remember, when we want to calculate median variable, we need to sort the value by descending order or ascending order. But can we order ordinary variable? We cannot, right? So we cannot calculate mean. How about mean? How can we calculate the average? It doesn't make sense, right? If we have 10 respondent and 5 respondent are male, 5 respondent are female. And I calculate the average for this. I calculate the average for the value. I will get 0 0.5. It's not meaningful, right? Is 0 0.5 means female or female? We cannot, we cannot uh, answer that, right? So for nominal variable, the proper appropriate measure of central tendency is mode. How about second one? What is the appropriate measure of central tendency for ordinal variable? Mean? Yes. But can we calculate mode? Mean? Can we calculate mode? Can we calculate median for ordinal variable? Okay, for ordinal variable, the appropriate measure of central tendency is what? Median, correct, because we can order the value first and then we can find the median, right? The ordinal variable, we can order the value, right? Can we calculate the mode? Yes, we can, right? We can calculate, we can know which level of the respondent, most of the respondent are concentrate on which level. For example, I can know most of people are concentrate, most of people are under 18, right? But can I calculate mean? We cannot, right? For example, in this example, I have three labels. If the first label I have two respondent, the second label I have three respondent, the third label I have five respondent, the total I have ten respondent, and I sum the value together and I divide by ten, is that meaningful? Can I explain that? Let's say if the average number here, if I sum the value together and divide by 10, and the value is, let's say, uh, 2.2, how can I explain that? I cannot explain, right? Okay, so how about scale variable? What is the appropriate measure of central tendency? For this part, uh, I will uh, recap this part again next week. So if still not clear, 
don't worry about this part. I just have want you have the brief idea because we're going to do some simple describe statistic later. So just keep in mind. Remember this one. Uh, for this part, um. It could be, it could be included in the next week, the, the exam. It could be, because the exam will cover the, what we teach uh, in today's tutorial and uh, the lecture, what he have taught already. Okay? Yes, for ordinal variable, both uh, median and mode, we can calculate. I will recap again later, but in here, just think about it. What is the proper measure of central tendency for each type of variable? Okay. Then what is scale variable? What is scale variable? What is the proper measure? of central tendency for scale variable. Can we calculate mode? Yes, we can know. Uh, we did, yes, we can calculate mode, yes. We can know most of the respondents are concentrated on which level of the certification. For example, most of the people, they are very state uh, satisfied right we can know 90 percent uh, of the respondent they are very satisfied can we calculate median yes we can as well right because this level did five level in here we have five level right very unsatisfied unsatisfied neither satisfied very satisfied. Five level, we can order this level, right? So we can calculate the mean as well, a uh, median as well. Can we calculate mean? Yes, we can. Let's take an example. For example, I got the average of this scale variable. I got the average number is 4.5. Can I explain that? Can I explain 4.5? Yes, I can say most of people, they are satisfied with what? Let's say, for example, this question is, uh, how satisfied are you with the loyalty program? If the value here, the average value is 4.5, we can say most of people, they are satisfied with the loyalty program. But probably they are not very satisfied. They are in the between satisfied and very satisfied. Okay, just have, remember, have this idea. In your mind. Here is the summary I uh, make. For ordinal variable, we can calculate mode only because nominal variable we cannot uh, uh, solve the value by ascending order or descending order, right? For ordinal variable, the appropriate measure of central density is mode and median. And scale variable, we can calculate three here. Okay. And do you remember the exercise one? We, in this set of uh, Data, we only have a few variable, uh, a few value here. We only have 11 value. So we can calculate that manually. But think about that. 
if we have a hundred or a thousand value within a set of the data, it will take time, right? So let's do it in SPSS to see how to calculate the mean, median, and mode. Let's go back to SPSS here. For example, I want to calculate, I want to uh, call, find the central tendency for car, this variable. Remember what is car? What is the scale of this variable? This variable is nominal variable, right? So again, what is the appropriate central tendency for this variable? Is mode, right? How to calculate that? Analysis, descriptive statistic, and then select frequency. Once you select frequencies here, you will see all the, here will show the question, the label here. But what if I want to change the question to variable? What can I do? In this area, I right click the mouse. And here is a menu I want, you can display variable name. Once you click this one, display variable name. You will see the variable name here. Okay. Again, if you want to uh, change back to display the variable label, you can right click the mouse in this area, right click the mouse, display variable label. Okay. But uh, I, I'm, uh, my personally, I more uh, like to use the display variable name. So I select display variable name. I click car. And then I move car to variable next session here. And I want to calculate these variables mode, right? So I click statistic here. You will see the menu here. Again, today, uh, I want you to, we just, we do some simple describe statistic. I just want you to familiar with the how to uh, do the analysis in SPSS. So, uh, I will recap again this part next week. So, if you still not, uh, if you uh, still cannot import the data or still have some issue about this part, don't worry about this part. I will recap again next week. Okay. So today, just try to familiar with SPSS. This is quite important. Uh, you probably will use the you. I think you you will use the SPSS probably for your project or for your practicum for your quiz. Okay. So in here, central tendency for car is variable. Car is nominal variable. So what is the central tendency? I can calculate. Is mode. Right. So I click mode. Then I click continue. After that, I click OK. Then 
you will see the mode value here is three. What is three? What is this three means? We can go back to variable view here. Car, let's see the value here. What is the value three means? Again, let's click the triple dot here, this icon. I will see three here is Japanese car. So I can know within this data set, most of respondent, they have Japanese car, right? Okay, now I would like to give you uh, one minute to try to calculate the variable name issue three. Try to calculate this one. Before you calculate this one, think about that. What is this variable? Uh, what is this variable scale? Is this variable a nominal variable or ordinal variable or scale variable? If this variable is, let's say if this variable is scale variable, what is the central tendency can be calculated? And what is the value for the central tendency? I would like to give you one minute to do the practice. Any questions so far? Okay, let's do it together. Same, if I want to do the, the central tendency for this variable, issue three, this variable. Again, before I do that, I need to identify what is the scale of this variable. Okay, so how do I find it? This variable is about what? The question is, Oh, sorry. The question here is here. When I was able to put my first necessary car, I feel a sense of accomplishment. This is about the, the customer, the respondent, their feeling, right? how they rate this variable. Again, I click value here. I see the value. How they, how many value, how many la la label here? I have seven label. 
the first one, the first level, strongly disagree. The last one, seven, strongly agree. Seven level. This is what type of variable. This is what scale of the variable. This is a scale variable, right? So for scale variable, what is the central tendency I can calculate? Mode, median, and mean. How I calculate? Analysis, descriptive statistic, frequencies, and then I move car this variable back. I don't want to calculate this variable now. I move it back. I select issue three. I move to variable here, this section. Then I go to select the icon statistic. And I select mean, median, and mode. And click continue, click OK. And I can got the three value here. What is the mean value? Here, 5.34. What does this mean? Remember, we have seven level, right? So 5.34, that means on average, these all respondent, they are Statistic, uh, they are, uh, they, the, they, their feeling is above the average, right? Because the average, the middle, the central number is four, is above, five is above, num is above the value four, right? And the median value is six. And mode is six. I can got the value here. Okay? Any questions so far? Let's do one more exercise. Could you calculate the education level of respondent? For this variable, what is the central tendency for this variable? Should we calculate mean, median, or mode? Yes, we should calculate median and mode. Thank you for your answer. Let's quickly do it again together. Analysis, describe statistic, frequency, and I move issue three, this variable back. I don't want to calculate the central tendency for this variable. Now I want to calculate education. Education is variable name is E D U C here. This variable, this is the variable name. I move this variable to variable session here. Again, click statistic, and then I need to untick mean right because education is variable is what scale? What scale variable? is ordinal variable, right? So I cannot calculate mean. And then I click continue and click OK. 
you will got the two value here. One is median, one is mode. Okay. So today's tutorial, uh, we we have four tasks. The first one. Uh, we need to uh, need to know how to uh, conduct analysis in uh, my assess this platform we don't need to install SPSS but we need to run the analysis through a plan through the my assess this platform okay you don't need to install SPSS and then the, this is the first top the first task the second task when we uh get access into the platform the my access this platform we found spss we need to know how to import the data in spss okay before we do the analysis we need to import the data right or you cannot do anything right you need to import the data after we import the data you will see the data look like this. Okay, here is your data set. And when you import the data, you can see there are two icons. The first one, data view. The second one, variable view. After we import the data, we want to answer at least three questions. How many variables I have? What is the variable? And then the last one, what is the scale of each variable? Okay. At least today you need to remember this part. At least you need to remember from the task one to task three. At least you need to remember this part, okay? Remember how to import the data. After import the data, you need to know how to find how many variable you have what is the variable is and what is the scale of each variable okay at least remember this part and then we this sound describes statistic as warm up for help you to familiar to get familiar with sps ss right and what analysis we do we do frequency analysis, we do describe statistic, and we calculate the mean, median, and mode. Okay? And remember what type of variable, what is the appropriate central tendency for each variable? Okay? <laughs> if you uh, don't worry about this part. I will recap again next week for uh, the the central tendency. This part. Uh, let me see here. At least today, if you're still not clear this part, don't worry about this part. I will recap again next week. But today, at least what I just mentioned, you need to um, uh, remember at least the first three tasks, okay? Any questions so far? Okay, if no question, uh, today's tutorial will uh, finish earlier. Because uh, as what I just mentioned, I want you to add a uh, familiar with the SPSS and make sure you uh, address, uh, I can help you to address the technical issue, like the import the data in SPSS. Okay, if you have question for import data in SPSS, you can stay in the meeting room. Uh, if you do not have any question, I'll talk to you next week. But again, next week, I will not send the invitation again. If you uh, 
forget how to uh, join the tutorial next week. Again, check the calendar in UNSW email or check the calendar in Microsoft Teams. In UNSW email, the calendar, you will see the event here. Double click the event. For example, uh, this session is 11 a.m. session. Double click the event and you will see the link. Or you can uh, go to the Microsoft uh, team, click calendar here, this one, and then you will see the calendar. This is a weekly calendar. And what you can click here, the forward or backward, you will see the following the, the tutorial link, the event, okay? When you see the event, double click the event, you will see the link to join the, the rest of the tutorial. Okay, and any question, welcome to email me, or if the question I can, we cannot uh, address by email, welcome to uh, have appointment, we can 